Without further ado, uh, I do want to know one thing before Khaki comes out. Now, Dave Grohl has said that there are good guitar players. There are really effing good guitar players. And then there's Khaki King. So without further ado, let's give her a huge round of applause. Before, after, before, before, after, 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 we do, before, before, after, we do, touch, after, before, we do, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after. Before, after, before, we do touch, 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 before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, we do touch, after, before, after, before, after, before, before, before,
Thank you so much. Hello. Um, thank you to those who are here, and thank you to those who are listening at home. It's amazing to be um, here on the prairie. Y'all know how to do a sunset. <laughs> I am so happy to, um, to have made it this far west in a van from New York four days ago. Um, the song is called Can't Touch This or That or You Are My Face, written in that strange week of COVID where we had gloves but not masks. I 
am a parent, and I'm also a godparent, which is, it's cool to have children, and it's also, it's like, no, you know, I didn't have to get permission. <laughs> but being chosen to be the spiritual guide of a child, that's a whole other thing. I take my job as a godmother very seriously, and this song is called Godchild.
Thank you for coming. I'm glad you're here. Um, the doctor will be with you soon. Just wait. She's coming. Um, in preparation for your appointment, will you please take a deep breath in and out? Okay, I'll let the doctor know you're here. say, tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. You can say like a nobody. Feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. Like a nobody. You can say, I am feeling calm, pleasant. Tell me what you're feeling. You can, you can say, I am feeling pleasant. I am feeling calm. Feeling, feeling. Tell me what you're feeling like a nobody. I am feeling fear, fear. I am feeling ugh, ugh. I am feeling placid. I am feeling panic. Feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. You can say, licensed, planetic, cadaverous, obstinate, relentless, sanguine. Feeling, 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 feel, 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 feeling, feeling, feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what you're feeling. Like a nobody. Like a nobody. Tell me what you're feeling.
very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's nice, again, to be in Iowa. I'm just saying that for people who are just tuning in. This is very fun, being a DJ for my own show. <laughs> What's up, Iowa Public Radio? If you're just tuning in, it's the Khaki King Show. It's the Khaki King Hour, the Khaki King 24 Hours. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so, I, I, I just want to reiterate the sunset situation here. In case, in case you're not aware, um, it's really good. And I was here this afternoon, well, I was here earlier in the day thinking, oh, you know, there's a lot of gold and, and, and orange tones in these, in these yonder buildings. And, um, and I wondered why. And then I, I went for a walk and I walked east. No, I walked west. I walked west and I saw the sunset and then I turned back to the east and I saw the sunset in the windows. Nice. Nice. Whoever figured that out, whoa. Nice touch, excellent, mwah. Chef's kiss. So, um, for those of you listening at home, this is so crazy, I, I've never really done this um, live. So, I just want you to know that I love you. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and I have something that I want to sell you. <laughs> um, so in my hand, I hold a, a small item, and, and I call it a passerelle. A passerelle uh, means small footbridge in French. And um, you're, in, you're in Des Moines, so you should know French. And so, but this bridge, is I'm going to put it on my guitar in a special way. I'm going to loosen my strings and put this bridge underneath the strings and on top of the fretboard. So it's going to create a very interesting sounding kind of instrument from, from the guitar. And um, for those of you who are here and who have a, who, who, who maybe you play guitar, maybe you have a, a loved one that plays guitar that you feel sorry for and you want to give them a gift. This is a great gift. It's, it's a nice stocking stuffer. Um, it was made in uh, Rhode Island by, at a forgery. And I don't know much more than that, but it was forged. Um, the one I have in my hand uh, for you listening at home is, is wood, but um, the one I sell you is metal. It's much nicer. And uh, for those of you at home, I, I do have these available on my website. <laughs> so I just, I'll let you fi go down that trail yourself. Um, but they're really nice sounding, and, and here's what they sound like. So there's going to be a little bit of dead air. But I, you know what, I'll fill it up with weird tuning sounds. It'll be very nauseating, and then it'll, it'll get better.
Everything's fine. You're going to be fine. Everything's fine. You're going to be fine. Consummate caretaker. Degrees unconscious. Stomach improvement. Personality bacteria anything. 
Reaction. Consummate. Degrees. Desperate. Medicine. Tragic. Caretaker. Stomach. Unconscious. Anything. Improvement. Personality. Consummate. Bacteria. Desperate. Caretaker. Medicine. Reaction. Stomach. Anything. Tragic. Degrees. Personality. Unconscious. Bacteria. Desperate. Improvement. Reaction. Consummate. Degrees. Caretaker. Unconscious. Improvement. Stomach. Anything. Reaction. Degrees. Everything's fine. You're going to be fine. Everything's You're going fine. to be fine. You're going to be fine. Medicine. Unconscious. Tragic. Improvement. Personality. Reaction. Bacteria. Degrees. Desperate. Unconscious. Medicine. Improvement. Tragic. Stomach. Personality. Anything. Bacteria. Consummate. Desperate. Reaction. Medicine. Caretaker. Tragic. Degrees. Personality. Stomach. Bacteria. Desperate. Medicine. Unconscious. Tragic. Personality. Tragic. Everything's fine. Bacteria. You're going to be fine. Improvement. Everything's fine. Reaction. You're going to be fine. Degrees. Everything's fine. Desperate. You're going to be fine. Medicine. Anything. Everything's fine. Unconscious. Improvement. Tragic. Consummate. You're going Everything's to be fine. fine. You're Everything's going to be fine. Everything's fine. You're going to be fine. fine. Everything's You're going to be fine. fine.
Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. While I prepare the tuning for this next song, I'm not going to name names. But let's just say, uh, as, a, as a traveling vehicle, first of all, let me just say that you need to give a big round of applause to Orshi Santo, who is doing all of the video and programming. Give it up for my video production manager. So I'll, I'll say that our merry band of travelers had um, an unfortunate encounter with the Iowa State Police today. Yes. I don't believe for a minute that we were traveling more than 10 miles above the speed limit. In fact, I know we weren't. I know we weren't. And yet, wrongfully accused and wrongfully ticketed, I might add. <laughs> and since we, none of us are residents of the state of Iowa, we cannot go to court and plead our case. So I'm hiring you as my attorneys general, <laughs> and you can go and say, there were, it was desperate times, and there was a very big semi following us, and we had to pass. And what can you do? And you have to pass. You have to exceed a speed that is maybe not the speed that one is lawfully abided by to travel. But, but for a second, I plead, Your Honor, for just a split second, is it not wise and safe to pass the vehicle? Rather than be so frustrated that you just throw on the brake and just rear in the thing. Anyway. Yes. We will we'll pay our fine and we will um, contribute to whatever that, whatever library or detention center is the beneficiary of these, of such things. I don't know. But um, those of you listening at home, I'm, I will come back to Iowa, don't worry. It will not deter us. We will, however. We will be exceedingly cautious with our out-of-state plates. <clears throat> I got no tuning done during that, that whole thing, so.
Thank you very much. Um, I don't know how this happened, but we're, we're actually nearing the end of the show. Um, I know, it's very, it's weird. Don't worry, I have lots of stuff to talk about, um, which we can uh, discuss after, after the show. There's going to be a live q and I don't think that's on the radio, but um, it's so cool. If there, I know there's someone listening at home that's like, what is happening? <laughs> what in, I hear a guitar, but there's other stuff. It is one guitar, I assure you. Um, and, and a, yes, there is a drum, but the drum talks in a Scottish accent, so I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> That's another thing entirely. <laughs> uh, we won't get into that. It's actually a Scottish person inside the drum, that when I punch her with the drumstick, she just s starts talking about her stomach issues. <laughs> Anyhow, um... This year is the 20th anniversary of the release of my very first album. Um, I know, it's just so cool. And I, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due, Des Moines. This is a four day tour that began in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, and now here. And by far the biggest audience. Thank you so much. I am bewildered and honored that you would come out and, and spend your night with me. It is, it's, such, it's such an honor, truly. And, I, and, and, and with the, the folks listening at home, all five of you, it's got to be the biggest audience I have ever played to in Iowa. So thank you so much. I am um, going to play a song from my second album, and then I will play a song from my first album. Um, but this song, well, it, uh, it, 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 put, it, it mapped out a road for me, and I'm grateful for it. Um, and it looked really good on television, so it's <laughs> probably why I'm here. It's called Playing With Pink Noise.
Thank you, amazing, wonderful Iowans. Whenever I think of the Midwest, I think of um, the, well, I'm Southerner originally, I'm from Atlanta, and I think that we go on and on about the Southern Gothic, but the Midwest Gothic, whoa. <laughs> like, Halloween must be amazing around here. You guys, I can't even imagine how full on you go and um, how creepy it must be to have no mountains to stop whatever is coming. It's the nothing and there's just, you're just done. It comes from the cornfield. Yeah, that's what, exactly. The, yes. The, the spooks and ghouls and the, but like, you could hide anything in a cornfield. I didn't know how tall corn was till kind of recently. Um, and it's terrifying. I don't know how you manage to be around that much corn, to be honest. <laughs> do you do, do you do epic corn mazes? <laughs> Thought so. Do people get lost? Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, they were like, oh yeah. <laughs> So if you're a fugitive from justice <laughs> because you haven't paid your parking tickets and <laughs> driving just 10 miles over the speed limit, could you survive in a cornfield on corn? Yeah. Oh, because it's like, yeah. yes? I'm getting yes. I'm, getting, I'm hearing you. Oh, so you know nothing. So shush. <laughs> because it's like cow corn? Oh, uh, okay. Where, where does the people corn grow? Out of curiosity. Lots of different answers for that. Different hybrid, got it. Wow, I don't need to start any corn controversy, so I apologize. But I heard a boo, and I don't even know why. And it wasn't a spooky, I'm a ghost boo. It was like, down with the hybrid. Oh, it was a cow moo. I heard what I heard. I heard what I heard. I'm sorry. I have the microphone, okay? Yeah, on. you can try. You can try to take it back. I am in Iowa, and people are making cow noises in the audience. I am so pleased with myself and with you right now. I'm in love with it. So I am gonna have to leave you, and I'm gonna have to leave you with this song, and I wish I could make so many jokes, but it's, it's a song that a lot of people really like, and they feel very special about it. You guys are gonna make me cry with laughter at the, the, the corn, corn traversy. Oh, oh boy. Um, so, so I, okay, shush, guys, let me, hold it together, please, just help me. Help me. <laughs> Tell me what you're feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling corny. corny. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm going to let this front row just take over the rest of the show. <laughs> you're doing so much better than me. So, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to be genuine, but just, okay. All right. I, I wrote this song after... <laughs> a, a, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sir... You're gonna have to leave if the corn can't stop corning. Um, all right, so I wrote this song when I was young and I didn't know that it would become a song that was very important to a lot of people. I wrote it when I was about 19 and after an inconvenience in life, a, a minor setback, and of course any minor thing at that age is so incredibly major. Um, but I've learned that it has just gone and grown its own life and has meant so many things to so many people, as I said. Um, so I'm sharing it with you tonight. It will be the last song, because um, encores are scary. 
And um, I will see you after the show. And thank you for listening at home. And thank you so much to the Temple Theater for going all out and having me. And thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Des Moines.
thank you so much, you lovely, lovely people. What an honor. Thank you, thank you very much, Des Moines. Thank you so much. I can't wait to come back and get lost in a corn maze. Good night. <laughs>